Antarctica is one of the least explored places on the planet. It's perhaps best known for its harsh climate and beautiful wildlife. Over the years though, there have been some mysterious discoveries on the continent. Each year, research is carried out here and experiments are conducted. Scientists have recently reported that a massive object that could change our understanding is hidden beneath the ice. These claims have caused theorists to speculate about what could be lying under the ice. This mysterious anomaly is believed to be under an area called Wilkesland. The area is over 150 miles across and has a minimum depth of around 2,500 feet. Interestingly, researchers have suggested that it could be the remains of a giant asteroid. If this is the case, it would have been twice the size of the asteroid that struck Mexico 66 million years ago. This could help to answer one of the planet's most mysterious events. During the Permian Triassic, a massive extinction event happened. It caused over 96% of Earth's sea creatures and over 70% of the vertebrate organisms living on Earth to perish. This giant rock could have been behind that event. This mysterious anomaly was first brought to the attention of researchers in 2006. This was when NASA's satellite picked up on gravitational changes. Going back last year, scientists announced that they had managed to reach a subglacial lake which was under Antarctica. Incredibly, this lake was over 3,000 feet below the surface of the ice. The subglacial Antarctic Lake Scientific Access said the following about the event. It's taken almost two whole days of drilling to reach the subglacial lake during this holiday season. We had a huge team with us and it wouldn't have been possible without them. The team of researchers included over 40 scientists, drillers and various other staff members. Incredibly, the researchers were able to see a glimpse of the giant subglacial body of water. It's been estimated that it's twice the size of Manhattan. The researchers are currently studying the lake and hope to understand its depth temperatures and what kind of life is down there. Due to it being a remote place, some have come forward and said there could be creatures down there unknown to science. They've planned to place remote controlled robots down there to capture some footage. This will help the scientists better understand what they're dealing with. One of the chief scientists said they were unsure of what to expect, as it's such a new discovery and they're still learning as they went along. Although this sounds like an easy task, it's not just a matter of digging a hole. There's specific steps that need to happen for this to work. For example, the scientists needed to test the water was clean. After doing this, it turned out the water was as clean as filtered water. One of the scientists on the mission said the following. It's exciting that we are sampling the deepest standing water bodies human have ever accessed beneath Antarctica. This is a slow process though, and it will take a few years to collect and process the data. Interestingly, it's been said this might not be the only subglacial lake in the area. Researchers have come forward and said there could be around 400 lakes hiding beneath Antarctica's ice sheets. It's anyone's guess as to what could be hiding down there. It's believed by many different researchers from around the world that the continent of Antarctica was once inhabited with that of lush green forests surrounding the entire area. Evidence of this can be found when looking at a team of archaeologists and researchers that led an expedition in Antarctica in November of 2016. This mission lasted for several months and ended in January of 2017. The team found evidence of lush forests in the region after locating and discovering several different traces of fertile growing lands, areas of climate change in the past as well as large amounts of fossil fragments from ancient trees, and these dated as far back as 260 million years ago. Interestingly, this timeline correlates with one very important event in the past, the Permian period also known as the greatest mass extinction event in the history of the world. Before this event, there was much more carbon naturally in the atmosphere of which created lush green forest all around the world. This large amount of carbon allowed for species to grow in the region. The forestification of deserts and the ability for our atmosphere to support larger forms of animal life on the land. It's interesting then to consider this idea that roughly 260 million years ago the continent of Antarctica would have been a densely populated lush green forest, with a tremendous variation in wildlife and ecosystems. 
a professor at the University of Wisconsin argues that the continent as a whole was much warmer, and even more humid than many areas today. In fact, he is overwhelming evidence that the area would have been closer in resemblance to the denser forest found over the globe. Additionally, at the rate of the burning fossil fuels, of which is reintroducing this carbon into the atmosphere that was lost during the Permian extinction, we will soon be reaching atmospheric conditions once again of which will allow the continent of Antarctica to be a thriving forest within a few more hundred years. Shortly after the expedition that uncovered the fossils of ancient trees in the region, researchers were obsessed with uncovering proof of larger life throughout the area. Back in 2010, researchers used techniques in explosives and large-scale blasting to blow out layers of surface rock against the Antarctic mountain sides. This was to uncover possible fossil layers buried deep beneath the glaciers throughout the area. After several months of searching and mining for fossils, the research team uncovered exactly what they were hoping for. It appeared that fossils of ancient dinosaurs inhabiting the region millions of years ago in the past, roughly around the same time of the Permian extinction, were uncovered after going down past the layers of the glacial rocks in the region. Interestingly, bones of another strange creature have been uncovered that's believed to be that of a species of dinosaur never before found. According to their reports, the paleontologists accompanying the research team discovered a densely packed grouping of fossils belonging to different types of dinosaurs, and these dinosaurs are known as sauropods. Sauropod skulls are usually very rare to find in other areas, as they were very delicate during the life of the creature and so a completely intact skull is rare to find in one completely fossilized piece. These skulls are known by the paleontologists as being delicate. The bones of these massive dinosaurs were said to be 50% lighter than previously thought, so the fact it survived this long is really impressive. Luckily for the team among the densely packed fossils were that of bones of ribs, vertebrae, arms, legs and a completely intact skull. Many of these bones have already been rendered in complete 3D imaging technologies that will help to preserve their finds for all time. Another interesting discovery comes in the form of the Piri map. This map is the oldest map to show the Americas and to this day it still confuses many people. In 1929, a group of historians discovered something incredible drawn on a gazelle skin. After the document was studied, research and tests showed that it was genuine. It was drawn in 1513 by Piri Reis, a famous admiral of the Turkish fleet in the 16th century. What's interesting is that he's primarily known today for his maps and charts, specifically for how accurate they are. He was ranked highly within the Turkish navy. However, he went on to say that he compiled and copied certain pieces of data from other sources. One thing that many people question is why it shows Antarctica without eyes. Antarctica was mostly icy forest, and for the last 15 million years it's been a frozen desert under a thick ice sheet. On the map the northern coastline of Antarctica is detailed. Another thing that stands out is the map is very accurate. How did this happen when the map was created 300 years before it's discovered? Interestingly, on the 6th of July 1960, the US Air Force responded to a letter sent by Professor Charles H. Habgood. He was asking for an evaluation of the ancient map. This was the response. Dear Professor Habgood, Your request of evaluation of certain unusual features of the Piri Reis Antarctica map of 1513 by this organization has been reviewed. The claim that the lower part of the map portrays the Princess Martha coast of Queen Maud and the Palmer Peninsula is reasonable. We find this is the most logical and correct interpretation of the map. The geographical detail shown in the lower part of the map agrees very remarkably with the results of seismic profiles, some of which were made by the Swedish-British Antarctic Expedition of 1949. This indicates the coastline has been mapped before it's covered by the ice cap. This part of Antarctica is ice-free. The ice cap in this region is now about a mile thick. We have no idea how the data on this map can be reconciled with the supposed state of the geographic knowledge in 1513. Harold said Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force Commander. So there are some conflicting reports. How can this map show Antarctica with no eyes? 
scientists state there's been ice on the continent for millions of years. Many experts have analyzed the diagram and realized it portrays an accurate depiction of the world. So what do you guys make of these Antarctica discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.